So we've just arrived in Copenhagen. And then I'm going to show you what I have in my bag. Every two hours, just like, is it time? Is it time? <laughs> hey guys, so that is what I'm going to be showing you today after I've had my shower. Look at this. Honestly, how beautiful is the weather today? And we're not even in downtown Copenhagen. It is such a shame that I can't go out as usual. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing like a um, video about what I pack with me on flights these days to quarantine for 24 hours. Should be fun. So let's go. So I'm going to begin with my little cabin bag. So, I keep one. <laughs> Listen to parents that don't even exist yet. So edgy. So, I keep one set of PJs as well as one set of like going out clothes, um, even though we can't go out. <laughs> Just because in the day I don't like to lounge around in my PJs for the entire day. Ah, but by the way, this is, um, like, these are notebooks that, um, I had from my training days. So in the training college, like, you know, we write down notes and, like, as we go through the lessons. So, to be honest, I don't really need them necessarily here. Um, but I just keep them there just in case I really need to refer to something urgently. Maybe I wrote it down somewhere. And then these two, I should really get nicer laundry bags, but um, I don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are my laundry bags. This is my laundry bag, and then that one was for shoes. But obviously now that we can't go out, like, there's not much point in bringing shoes. So I just pack these bathroom slippers. So over on this side, I have my top coat for winter as well as um, an extra set of uniform and a set of office clothes kind of that we use for positioning and yeah i just leave them in there don't really touch them then i have like a whole bunch of extra plastic bags don't really know why please don't ask me but you never know you might need it someday and then of course i have my disinfectant wipes that I pretty much use the moment I step in. And then, I'm going to show you my little uh, carry-on bag. So as you can kind of tell, like, I'm quite a light packer. I mean, in general, uh, even when I travel before, like on my own, before I joined the airline, um, I would take like, a two week trip to Korea and I just bring like a cabin bag. Especially now, like I don't really see much point in bringing um, so much stuff because it's only like a 24 hour layover. I keep it pretty light. Um, but yeah, so let's start with what I have in my bag. So here we go. Now, normally I don't actually bring food, but yeah, I thought, why not just bring a couple of nuts and, yeah, rice crackers. I actually, not like super humongous fan of this. I actually prefer the soy, soy flavored ones. Um, especially the ones with the seaweed. Those are like, mm, chef's kiss. So then we have my laptop, um, some extra masks, um, spectacles my camera i bring my camera because like you know you could have a nice view like this 
and I might get like a really nice sunrise or sunset. I got like a stunning sunrise in LA and a beautiful sunset in Japan, in Osaka. So yeah, I managed to get some nice photos. So you never know like what views you might be blessed with. So I just, yeah, keep my camera around because I don't want to miss these moments. And then there's this, which is what we call a toolkit. So here we go, my toolkit. So, um, can anyone guess what this is for? So basically, um, on certain uh, flights, on certain routes, we, you know how for normal meal service, we have like one pot of coffee and one pot of tea, like on top of the meal cart, right? So um, on certain routes that there is an additional pot of tea. So for example, for um, Chinese, Japanese and Korean stations, we also get um, jasmine tea. So what we normally do is we stick like one of these stickers on the tea, the second teapot itself, just f so that we know which one's the jasmine tea, which one's the black tea. So yeah, I don't know if many people actually know about this, but here you go. <laughs> um, this I use a lot of, um, it's my hand cream. I use this a lot because it gets really dry on board. So yeah, definitely have to use this. Especially like, you know, now we, more than ever we're like washing our hands almost all the time sanitizing our hands putting on gloves putting off gloves taking off gloves so yeah uh it's a lot for your skin to go through i think concealer here <laughs> i actually got this because i thought that oh you know if i ever get like a pimple or something then you know i have to conceal it and stuff for grooming but to be honest i've actually never used this um thankfully and in my day-to-day -day life, I actually don't use makeup either. So this might just go unused I don't, for I don't know how long. So I have a stapler here um, uh, to staple like official documents, especially for stuff that we need to submit. I have this uh, Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer here. It actually smells really nice. Kind of smells like uh, one of those perfumes that that's like very spicy um, so if you're into those kind of perfumes and you want your hands to smell nice then yeah this is pretty good um, pen here but I should have more in my jacket uh, torch light I've actually never used this before nail clipper also never used this before on flight I mean and then of course I have my little ziploc bag of liquids aerosols and is it gels? The LAG one. It's a lot easier for me to just keep all of my liquids into just one Ziploc bag. So whenever I am, wherever I am rather, um, yeah, it's easy to just show it to them. So while waiting for room service to arrive, I am going to eat my rice crackers. So I'm going to eat now because I am hungry. I'm going to have my lunch now. It has arrived. I'll show it to you. I am having a pizza. Here is my pizza. There we go. And that's my lunch. So that is it for my what I pack with me vlog. Um, as you can tell, simple packer, light packer, don't really bring much beyond what I really need. I don't even have a cargo bag, um, which I know like, you know, a lot of crew bring still uh, to keep like all their stuff, um, like pots sometimes to like equipment that allows them to cook. What else? Water. I know a lot of people bring a lot of like big water bottles because there's usually not enough water in the room um, unless there's a kettle um, yeah but I don't bring any of that um, although I was in Paris one time and I forgot to bring my phone charger and 
I mean, I used to work in a hotel, right? So I, in the past, whenever guests would come to us with problems, like we would try our best to find a solution for them. So I called front desk, I was like, hi, I uh, didn't bring my phone charger, can I borrow one uh, from front desk? And the person was literally just like, sorry, no, we don't do that here. Oh, yeah, we don't have any, yeah. And that was it, like no solution, no like, <laughs> What else can I do? Right, like, literally nothing at all. I was like, okay. Then I went to bed, uh, had a nap, you know, woke up, showered, uh, freshened up, had lunch. And then I called again um, in the afternoon, hoping that, you know, I might be able to catch someone a bit more generous in the afternoon shift. And I called and it was literally the same answer. Just, no, we don't have that here. Sorry. And that was it, it just like left me hanging. <laughs> so yeah, now I just make sure that I definitely have my charger with me. Cause it's pretty bleak to not have your devices with you in a hotel room because there's literally nothing else to do. So don't ask me how I survived, but I survived on 50% battery. Um, well, I literally just like chucked my phone aside, turned it down to the lowest, uh, uh, brightness level and turn it off in the night and because I was so afraid that I would miss my wake up call my pickup time I could not sleep properly that night like I literally just kept waking up every two hours just like is it time is it time <laughs> so yeah uh, that that happened but it is what it is and yeah now I definitely make a point to bring my charger for sure yeah that's that's about as eventful as it gets these days <laughs> um but yeah i hope this was fun for you and interesting i hope at least like the toolkit part was interesting because i feel like that's not something that you really get to see or people would talk about um but it's a pretty important thing to have so yeah, as you can tell, a peck really liked whatever I need for the 24 hours, basically. And not much more. That's pretty much it, so... not open I'm gonna riot honestly <laughs> I just need a sim card how hard is that <laughs>